Hello, 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 I'm Laura Laura and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look. A few disclaimers, I know that my hair, I'm not having the best hair day and that there is a lot of sound pollution from the road and from whoever's cleaning the house and I do have a cold so that's why I sound a bit bunged up. But anyway, if you want to know how to get this makeup look, carry on watching. I'm kind of digging this jumper in this light, it looks really red, it's actually like really orange in person. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's just go on with it. Um, first I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Matte Foundation in Rose Vanilla. Get my mirror. I'm just gonna put a little pump on the back of my hand and dab it on my face. Um, I always say with this foundation, never go straight in with a brush as um, it's really liquidy. And basically you'll just end up needing a new brush. <laughs> I would say blend it first with your fingers and then once it's semi blended in, go in with the brush to like buff it. I would say this is a very light coverage um, foundation as it it doesn't really cover much but I quite like that for the winter um, as I don't want to be getting too heavy so next I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm just going to zoom you in, the, in for this <laughs> Next I'm going to take my Maybelline uh, Mascara Lash Sensational and just apply my mascara <laughs> I've got it all around my eyes, but I'll tidy that up in a minute. <laughs> this, um, the lighting <coughs> always makes me look really pale. I'm actually not this pale. <laughs> Just gonna wait for this to dry. Actually, while that's drying, Ignore all the rubbish around my eyes. While my mascara dries, I'm just gonna get with that, my eyebrows and I'm just gonna brush them first. And I'm just gonna take my Soap and Glory Brow Art Tree, the pencil first, fill it in, and then go over it to outline it with the pen. set them with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in shade medium dark. My skin is so bad. Ugh. I'm just gonna apply some more foundation onto my forehead because my skin just needs it, <laughs> really. <laughs> Now I'm just going to take my MUA Makeup Academy, oh still got foundation on my hair, let's go over there. My um, MUA palette um, in Undress Me Too. And this was given to me by my good friend Ellie. Thank you so much Ellie. Um, she's a fellow makeup lover like me and was clearing out and decided to give this to me. Now in this palette there are 12 colours and they're all quite neutral and bronzy goldy. There's a rose gold, there's a black, which is actually comes in really handy. Um, and it's, I think it's a really pretty palette. She said that she didn't use it, but I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Now I'm just going to, this doesn't matter, so I'm just gonna have to hold it again. Okay. I'm going to use this kind of rose goldy color. I'm trying to get this, this rose goldy color here um, with a bit of the black and a bit of this brown here to go under my eyes. And then I'm going to use my Maybelline color tattoo in, <laughs> um, 
in creamy beige, which is actually also given to me by Ellie, so <laughs> thanks Ellie, um, on my lid, and then just go over it a bit with a bit of the shimmer. Um, so yeah, let's, and I'm going to first of all, where's the brush? Oh, there it is. I'm going to first of all take the rose goldy colour, which is called, um, I'm going to take the rose goldy colour, which is called Fiery, uh, mixed with a bit of Obsessed and a tiny bit of Corrupt. <laughs> what random mix. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to put a bit on my, oh, I'm, put, I'm using my Real Techniques accent brush. And I'm just getting quite a lot of the rose gold, a little bit less of the brown and then a tiny bit of the black. And all I'm going to do is run this on my lower lash line. change what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this rose gold colour in Fiery and just apply it all over my lid. Swap brushes, I'm now gonna use my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm literally just gonna dab it in and then apply it onto my eye. To be honest, it's not, that's a hoover. Goodness sake. There's not a lot of colour payoff with this palette, so you've actually got to get loads on your brush to apply it to your eyelids. So I'm just gonna keep going with the with the process. <laughs> it looks a lot more orange on camera, whereas in person it's a lot more pinky gold. But oh well. Who cares? Um so there's my there's my eyes. I swear this camera exaggerates. It makes everything look, it makes my eyebrows look darker, my skin look paler, my eyeshadow look a lot more orange. <laughs> oh, this spot right here is doing my nut in. Now to stop my skin looking so pale, I'm just gonna take my um, Soap and Glory Solar Powder and um, with my Real Techniques contour brush, swirl it around a bit and then apply it under my cheekbones. Can you see the difference? My eyes are quite heavy. I'm just gonna um, apply some Vaseline on my lips. I'm not too fast, really. Plus, it's winter, so my lips are gonna be dry anyway. <laughs> Feeling all autumnal now. <laughs> Frizzy hair, don't care. <laughs> now that I've zoomed out, I look a lot more normal, like normal colours. Um, anyway, I think it just must be the lighting. I don't know what it is. I apologise anyway for the weird lighting um, and everything and the sound pollution and like the road and the hoover in the background. <laughs> I just really needed to film. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and are gonna have fun recreating this look. Uh, remember to subscribe. And for those wondering, I upload every Tuesday at 6 p.m. or every other Tuesday. It, it depends how heavy my school workload is, how much spare time I have um, and free time to film and to edit and upload and everything. Um, honestly, you don't see how much hard work I've put into these videos. And, um, oh, and for those wondering, if you call me Laura Laura in person, don't think that I'm gonna get offended and that you're trying to be cool and smart and funny because because if you, if I'm gonna get offended by it, I wouldn't call myself Laura Laura on the internet, so well done. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do. Thanks for watching, bye.